Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Ian Kanyanya. I am at Kenyatta National Hospital. I am a psychiatrist um, and the head of department, mental health. Um, I would like to apologize on behalf of Dr. Uh, Mareko Gibson, who was to be with you this afternoon. However, he was held up in other issues and he was not able to join you. However, um, Dr. Mareko and I work together, and so what Dr. Mareko was to share with you, I believe that I'll be able to do the same. Um, I know the question or the issue that uh, you have been primed to discuss this afternoon is about marijuana, uh, also known as uh, cannabis sativa. Uh, this product or this uh, thing has uh, elicited a lot of uh, questions and a lot of um, um, a lot of issues because um, there is a way that we have always known it but also lately there is what uh, ha it has come to be known for and so uh, people have questions about it and so I would like us to discuss something about it. Now, marijuana or cannabis sativa, it has what we call, okay, it has come. Uh, it has an active ingredient that is actually the thing that uh, makes people to smoke it or to eat it or to chew it or to drink it. It is taken in multiple ways these days and the active ingredient is called tetrahydrocannabinol or in short it is called THC. Now um, we know it as a substance that has been abused uh, over the years but we also are aware that in some countries around the, the world it has been uh, propagate, propagated as being of medicinal value. Um, and maybe that's where many people have questions about it. Maybe as we start off, I would like to make it clear that in our country, we have not yet adopted any marijuana product as of being of medicinal value. We are not applying it in medicine, but we are aware that in countries like Canada, um, it is being used. Although we are also aware that where it is being used for medicinal benefits, it is very highly restricted. It is not like uh, you just say, oh, I have a headache today, and then you walk into a pharmacy and you get a dose of marijuana. No, it is highly restricted. And uh, the reasons why it is highly, still highly re restricted is because it has very many other effects that unfortunately are not of benefit. They are adverse in nature, very many, multiple. And we in mental health, we are aware about what Mariana is doing to our people and especially the young people. We see a lot of adverse effects about marijuana. Um, we know that when someone smokes it or takes it in any other form, uh, sometimes it makes them to actually have psychosis. By psychosis we mean that they start having, losing touch with the reality through hallucinations, they experience hallucinations, they hear voices talking to them, they uh, may feel someone like someone is touching them when actually there is no one touching them. 
Uh, they also have, uh, in psychosis, they also have what we call delusions. Delusions are uh, abnormal or unusual beliefs that you cannot, as much as they are true, uh, as much as the beliefs are untrue and actually inconsistent with what you would expect the person who has them to know or to believe, they are unshakable. The person who believe, who has a delusion, you cannot reason with them uh, to the extent of making them to see the point. They will not see the point. They are very unshakable and un, uh, are very strong beliefs in the people concerned. We also know that marijuana um, is very addictive in nature. Uh, people who use it, they start by using little by little and before they realize it, they are actually abusing it. They are taking so much of it. I have had people who are taking 10 joints in one day. And when you reach there, it is very, very hard for you to stop it. If anything, you will always find the need to use more and more of it. And so it's a very addictive uh, 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 product and the more that the more uh, the more you use it and the longer you take it the more you are likely to have the unwanted or adverse effects of it in the long term we know that marijuana uh, causes also some form of mental dulling uh, dull as in being like um, in common language, we can say danda. You become like danda. You, um, you, you, you are reasoning. Your cognitive capacities are affected when you use marijuana for a long time. So you, it's like you become retarded in your mind. And so um, there are very many undesirable effects about marijuana. Um, but for those who, where it is being used for medicinal value, for medicinal uh, benefits, uh, we, we understand that it is used in multiple conditions, but it, it is regulated, as I said before, and it is used in amounts that are not, you know, like a prescription uh, medicine. It is not used in any large amount, but in amounts that are appropriate for the condition. And we know that it's used in conditions like anxiety disorders, it is used in um, uh, uh, conditions like where people are on treatment for cancer, uh, on chemotherapies, and they have a lot of nausea and vomiting. Uh, marijuana is being used to control the nausea and vomiting. Um, also, we know that it is being prescribed for pain and inflammation, inflammatory conditions. Pain and infl inflammation, it is uh, being prescribed for that. Um, and so, those are the new things that are emerging now. That is what is coming up uh, at this time. Uh, in some of the countries around the world, but as I said before, we in Kenya, we are yet to reach there, and we, are, we as medical doctors, we are not yet prescribing marijuana. Uh, to that point, I think uh, there are, I can see a few questions. Um, please, let me see the questions. I, I can see some questions on the screen, but I'm unable to make out what what they are saying so hmm? oh their comments 